Hi, I'm Tom Bowler, and welcome to our instructional seminar on power supply measurement techniques using PicoTest signal injectors. Today we'll be demonstrating how to measure the stability of voltage regulators using an output impedance measurement. Phase margin is used to quantify the stability of a control system and is traditionally measured using a Bode block. While PicoTest makes high quality injection transformers that can be used for traditional Bode plots, the J2111A current injector allows us to measure the phase margin in systems where the control loop is either inaccessible, as in the case of a fixed three terminal regulator, or where the loop might be difficult to get to, as in the case of production hardware. An added benefit is that the output impedance measurement is non-invasive. Unlike using an electronic load to view the step load response, the current injector does not impact its own measurement. The non-invasive phase margin measurement is performed by first recording the output impedance, converting it to group delay, and performing some mathematical computations, but we'll get to how this all works in a moment. The J2111A current injector is a unique voltage controlled current source that is capable of switching load currents up to 100 milliamps with 20 nanosecond rise fall times on positive and negative voltage regulators. A rate of over 40 megahertz can be achieved. It has a voltage control port, an output current port that can go in parallel with the regulator load, and a current monitor port. The output current can either be modulated with a network analyzer for frequency sweeps, an arbitrary waveform generator for current waveforms such as discharge profiles or small signal load steps, or by a DC source for constant current load. The 50 ohm current monitor port on the current injector allows us to easily monitor the load current with an output voltage representing 1 amp per volt. To understand exactly how we're going to make this non-invasive phase margin measurement, you first need to know a little bit more about output impedance. If we modulate the load current with a network analyzer and measure the output voltage over current as a gain measurement, we obtain vectors of the gain and phase of the output impedance. From the gain curve, we can learn a lot about the effective resistance, capacitance, and inductance of active devices, passive networks, and parasitics. For this measurement, we'll be focusing on the phase curve of the output impedance. Now let's go to the lab and demonstrate just how quick and simple this process truly is. For this demonstration, we'll be using a PicoTest Voltage Regulator Test Standard, or VRTS, board with an LM317 linear voltage regulator installed. Power is applied to the board via an AC to DC power adapter and applies the LM317 with approximately 7 volts. The output is set to 3.3 volts. For this first test, we'll be adding a 100 microfarad tantalum capacitor to the regulator's output. The J2111A current injector plays two roles in this measurement. The first is to apply a constant current load to the circuit. The second is to modulate the load with a small additional AC current. The current is controlled by the frequency swept output voltage from the Bode 100 network analyzer. The 50 ohm current sensing port is connected to channel 1 of the analyzer, and a 1 to 1 voltage probe is connected from the regulator output to channel 2 of the network analyzer. This gives us our voltage over current impedance response. In this plot, the red trace, 1, is the measure of the output impedance of the regulator circuit in dB. The blue trace, 2, is the group delay of the impedance, which is the derivative of the phase between the voltage and current. From this measurement, we can see our system as a bandwidth of about 200 kHz and a phase margin of 43 degrees. Now let's replace the output capacitor with a 10 microfarad ceramic capacitor and perform the same measurement. We can see that the peak and group delay for this circuit is much steeper and higher in magnitude, indicating a much higher Q than before. At this frequency, that translates to about 19 degrees of phase margin. Even small load changes in a system with this level of instability would have serious oscillations in its output voltage. This could cause potential problems downstream in the system. Looking at the output impedance of a system allows us to see instabilities in control loops, passive component or filter resonances, board parasitics, and many other anomalies in the system. The PicoTest J2111A current injector is an incredibly versatile tool for any lab, but the non-invasive phase margin measurement capability makes it truly unique. Coupling the current injector with an arbitrary waveform generator or network analyzer make it a testing force to be reckoned with. Check out all our other videos at picotest.com. Thanks for watching and happy testing.